Ayan, good morning everyone. Ayan, gandang umaga. It's a very beautiful Thursday today. Ayan, January 10. Ayan, today, napaganda ng market. Um, yesterday, it broke out the resistance of 7875 and now we're trading at 7919. Congratulations po sa inyo sa mga pumasok sa doon sa baba. Napakaganda po ng movement ng market and we are Looking good. Ayan. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Good morning to my daughter, Laika. Um, ano ba? Um, today, we're going to be talking about the market and yung mga recommendations ko for today. If you have any questions, yan, lagay nyo po sa comments. We're going to be talking about those. Ayan. Feeling ko kasi, um, I think I've thought so many things already. Naubusan ako ng topic actually. But, Every day, mag meron namang magandang topic sa PSE. Eh, diba? um, ngayon, palapit na naman ang ba um, backdoor listing ni Udena. So, that's something we're looking forward to. Kahapon, si Ayala Corporation, binili si Finn. So, that's, those are very good developments. And so, we're gonna be talking about those today. Um, if you have any questions, pakilagay po sa comments. If you have any requests sa charts, gagawin po natin yan mamaya after our discussions. Um... Post it there, right? So, first up, um, a little request. Paki po, paki share po yung video sa Facebook walls ninyo. Um, subscribe to my channel, please, if hindi pa kayo pag subscribe. And also, share this to your Facebook groups. I mean, yung, yung trading groups po ninyo sa mga new, para sa mga newbies dyan na hindi pa alam ang program na ito. At least magabayan po natin sila. Tulad ng mga nagagabayan na natin dito. So, mga, yung mga laging and dito, mga tambayer, nagtatambay lagi sa daily grind. Good morning po sa inyo. And market is really looking well. Ang ganda ng volume ng PSEI kahapon, especially the foreign buying, right? So we are at net foreign buying yesterday. So this is getting better if makikita niyo po si PSEI. And um, ang volume niya ngayon kumakapal na compared sa noon na medyo manipis pa talaga. Um, 
we're getting better, right? PSEI is really getting better now. So, we're expecting na umabot tayo ng 8,400. We just broke out from the previous resistance, which is right here. Ayan, yan po yung resistance ng PSEI. So, si Investagrams po ang gamit ko ngayon. Sadly, si PSE Tools, hindi na natin magagamit. Alright, so, um, yun. Thank you so much for the service, PSE Tools, saka Chupetot. Sadly, hindi na natin magagamit. Um, we'll, I'm going, gonna go back to the chart later on. Ayan, so full screen mo na ako. Alright, um, Hops, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Advance, happy birthday. Ganda ng akit ng market, PSE kahapon. Magtuloy kaya today. Chart request ko sana, SACP Core. Fen, thank you as always. Ayan, si Fen, inaabangan na ng mga tao. I keep telling people, huwag niyo pong sasabayin yan sa taas. Just wait for it to do a pullback and let's see if we can get in a bounce. Ganito lang guys, if ever hindi kayo bibigyan ng bounce or umakit yan out of possession, let it go. Right? Um, marami naman ibang pwede pang habulin dyan. Huwag, yung, huwag yung maghahabol sa high risk positions really. That's the secret really into trading. Kaya nakikita niyo po mga students nagpo-post na mga ports nila. That's because that's I, that's what I teach them. Right? Learn how to let go. Huwag niyo pong pag... If you know your position trader, ask yourself, may position ba dyan? If wala, then that's not for you. Right? Uh, iwanan mo na yan. Right? So, ganun lang talaga. Um, you will... As you grow, as you get uh, as you mature as a trader you will have this um uh ano tawag dyan? um maturity sa emotion mo na okay it's okay if you miss wag hindi ka magiging greedy right kasi ang problema sa iba naiinggit sa mga ginagains na iba sayang hindi ako nakapasok dito maraming factors dyan eh um but yeah you get you get to um once you mature as a trader uh you you tawag dyan Ah, uh, basta may iwanan niyo po yung yung emotion na yan, right? So, yan. Um, SACP Core Pen. Sulat natin to. Tingnan natin yung charts later. Um, SACP Core Pen. O nga pala, here are my picks for today. MPI. Lagay ko po sa comments para makita niyo po. Yan po yung mga uh, recommendations ko for today. Ella Montopalco, good morning. Um, Renulfo Fuerzas, Mind Buntag, Nick Mar, Games and Hobbies, Good morning. Eh, si Nick Mar, um, ngayon ko lang nabasa tong name nito eh. So, welcome. Jomar Lim, good morning din. Uh, R. Leo, good morning. Ina Arellano, good morning po, Sir Lloyd. Pakicheck po naman si STR. Let's check out STR. Gumaganda ang galaw ni STR, yeah. Right? Uh, Michael Ecaldre, sir. Good morning, MPI and PCOR, please. Salamat po. Si MPI is in my recommendation today. Si PCOR, nag-aantay lang ako ng bounce. So, sulat ko si Picor. Pakita ko yung chart niya mamaya. Um, but si MPI, nag-bounce na po. Right. Pasukin nyo na po yan si MPI. Alright. Noel Taranco, good morning coach. Pakisuyo po ng Ani at Primex. Let's check out Ani and Primex. Si, si Primex, nasa support pa rin eh. Right. So, you can still test out the support of Primex habang gumaganda pa. So, I'll write these down. Tingnan natin mamaya ang chart niya. Hope you can hear me properly. Um, may nakaproblem yung speaker ko eh. So, I think it's okay naman. Right. Um, let's continue. Christian Dalipe, good morning. Jomar Lim, CHP, ISM, Al X ISM Ali, CE. ISM, nasa recommendation ko today. We have a bounce again. So, it's a slow climb for ISM. Nag-accumulate lang siya. Hindi pa gumagalaw kasi iniintay pa yung breakout on the January 31. Hindi ko naman alam na aakit ba yan or hindi. But it's been showing us good entry points. So, huwag niyo po imimiss yan. Baka maiwan kayo. You can always test buy and then just buy more pag nag-breakout na talaga. Diba? Pwede namang ganyan. Alright, Brilliant Encore. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. Laika and to all daily grinders. XB Core. Um, ano? XB Core and ISM, please. Alright, sulat ko si X. And dyan na si X. Um, request rin yan ni ano eh. Ni Jomar. Si B Core naman. Yes, si B Core nag-bounce na um, Somehow, it's showing us a bounce. Pero, for me, yung taas, medyo mataas na si Bicor. I don't want to be aggressive there. And then, Dana, Angela. Let's check out Bicor mamaya. Dana, Angela, or Dana, or Dana. Alright. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. Advance. Happy birthday po. Thank you so much. Thank you for the greetings. Ambok, Books. Uh, Mind Muntag Coach. Ano po take mo sa news na open? Makipag-tie up si Miss Latel kay PLDT Globe. Positive or negative news? Thanks. That's positive. Right? Any partnership is always positive. It will make the ano it will make the uh what they call this the the service much much uh more faster meaning um 
pwede silang ano, pwede silang what they call this, uh, mas mabilis ang layout nila ng plans nila kasi ang challenge talaga ng Miss Latel ngayon is yung ano, yung uh, yung cell sites, right? So most probably makikipag-partner si PLDT and Globe um, for the meantime, baka pwede nila ipagamit yung cell sites nila and um, ano pang pwede nila pag-partner rin and then pwede naman yan eh. Uh, that's not really a problem. Um, mas gaganda pa nga yung pag eh. So, don't worry about that. It's gonna be very beneficial pa rin sa Miss Latel naman pag makipartner sila sa Globe at PLDT. It will just make everything so much faster kasi um, ma- mabagal talaga mag- magtayo ng mga cell sites and everything. Right? Ang dami, ang dami pang gagawin yan. So, if makipagpartner sila sa Globe and Smart, that will make things so much faster for Miss Latel. And then, pang partnerships naman, yung mga partnerships naman ng mga yan, hindi naman forever partnerships na yan eh. Let's say, five-year partnership lang ang gagawin nila habang wala pang cell site si, si Miss Latel. At least, makapag-deploy sila ng maaga. And then, after that, um, once na na-layout na yung infrastructure ni Miss Latel, and then they can start their own. Uh, they can be independent again. Right? So, at least, sinusuporta ni Globe and Smart sa umpisa. Right? That's very good. Right? Um, actually, it, make, it makes things so much faster for Miss Latel. So, and um, it means that Globe and Smart are all um, Globe and Smart are respecting the capabilities of Miss Latel kasi alam ni Globe and Smart na may mag, may makukuha rin sila kay Miss Latel in the future right um, Miss Latel is going to be starting their own um, internet line right so that's going to be very fast siguro meron silang mga sub companies na pwede nilang mag-rent or kumuha doon kumuha ng internet lines para uh, hindi congested yun sa kanila so we'll never know right but those are very good uh, talaga um pake yo uh, yon um Ambo Books uh, my buntag coach ano po take mo sa news yan uh, that was my answer okay pa naman okay naman para sa akin that's really very good actually right um kasi isa, isa sa mga kinatatakutan ng mga tao is matatagalan pa daw si ISM bago makapag-deploy talaga because of the infrastructure's uh, complication, di ba? And this will make it so much faster. Tapos, yun, <laughs> um, that's the solution um, for for that problem actually. So, I don't think it's a problem. Merong concerns na konti na baka ma-absorb sila, but no, I don't think ma-absorb sila ng Globe or Smart at all because part yan ng consortium, um, third, uh, NMP, na law uh, linagay ni ano NTC hindi pwedeng bilhin partnership is okay but partnership is not hindi naman acquisition yung partnership eh. so yon think it's okay all right Arvin Velas- Velasquez good morning to all god bless to all good morning Bernadette Abio good morning sir Lloyd and to my daughter Jasmine and yung mag-ina na traders good morning sa inyo Casel John Visaya good morning sir Lloyd pasuyo po ng Picor MPI FLI and AG and yung dalawa sa mga picks mo been recommending that lately. Tignan natin si FNI. Actually, si FNI gusto kong pasukin eh. Uh, gusto ko i-recommend eh. Pero, yung fundamentals ni ah, FLI pala yun. FNI yung iniisip ko. Ang ganda na support ni FNI. Let's check out FLI and Angie din. Susulat ko yan. Tyron Javier, good morning Sir Lloyd. To expect market correction today, pasuyo po Sir ISM. Uh, to go FNI and to go FNI. Yan. Very good picks. FNI, more power. God bless. God bless you too. Um, market correction with the volume of the market yesterday and kaka correction lang na market. I don't think it's gonna be correcting ngayon. So I think it's gonna give us more volume today. Right, Claire Manzano. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. Benta no po ba si FPH? Right, tignan natin si FPH. Benta na po ba si FPH? Yan. So this is FPH, right? It's been giving us so many... Uh, this is a very good ano. This is a very good move for FPH. Yung nga lang wala ang volume, so I will recommend you you sell half of it, right? You sell half of it, uh, kasi baka mag pullback. The problem with pullbacks is you don't know if it's gonna go back down to support or not. So it's better you better ano you better sell half, kasi hindi natin alam kung magso sustain yung uptrend yun. Baka nga matapos na yung uptrend niya because of the volume. Napakanipis ng volume ni FPH. So yun um this is gonna be okay. Just sell half. Sell half lang kasi baka matulad ni Aba, right? Look at Aba. So, mga nag-sell all kay Aba dito, yan, hindi na nakasakay dyan. Perfect MA20 bounces right there. Um, nag-clip lang ng konti, pero anyways, the price action was going up. 
And ayan na si Aba, nasa point seventy six na. Good breakout, buti hindi ko binenta lahat ng Aba ko. <laughs> right? So, but I think uh, this uptrend is gonna slow down anytime soon. Why do I think so? Um, there is divergence in this area right here. So, kaya ayoko kung hindi ko na rin recommend si Aba. Ngayon, pababa na yung RSI natin. Um, it might still go up. We can't really tell. But the thing is, it's okay because nakapasok tayo dito pa sa baba. Diba? Congratulations sa mga nakapasok kay Aba. Um, I don't want to recommend chasing after it anymore. Right? So, yun. Um, asa na ako? Si Dave Guapo. Daddy's morning, Sir Lloyd. And like everyone to my wife. Uh, God bless po, sir. And thank you. Ayan. Good morning sa inyo. Justin Salvador. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. APX, sir. Pasilip naman ng maganda pasukin. Right. So, let me check out APX. Oy nga pala guys, if you need financial advices, just send me a message, right? I-PM niyo po, um, i-send niyo po a message to my uh, Financial Freedom 101 page sa Facebook. Um, we can set a meeting so I can guide you on your financial plans, right? If ever wala pa kayong plano sa financials niyo, um, you're just saving in the bank, I can offer you different uh, maraming mga plans na mas maganda na doon mag-save kaysa sa banko nyo po ilalagay yung pera ninyo. So, if you don't have any financial plans yet, talk to me. Send me a message, right? Um, Angie Montero, um, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Yan, good morning then Gorley, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Shell PH, win po. Alright, Shell PH and win. By the way, my service of first financial consultancy is free. So, just send me a message, right? Um, asa na ako? Gorley, uh, Shell, uh, Shell PH and win. Ang ganda ng positions ni Shell PH and Win ngayon na, right? Let me check out Win. Nag nagbounce na yun si Win eh. Ayun, nag MA20 bounce pala si Win, right? Uh, it's going back down to its support, right? So let's check out Win. Natin king green ni Win eh, kaya hindi ko po hindi ko po po nirereko, right? So Shell PH naman, um sulat natin si Shell PH, right? Si si Win, antayin niyo lang po yung bounce ni Win, right? Nasa, nasulat sa ano ko yan, na watch list ko na wait for the bounce for Win. Christopher Lit Tiatko, good morning coach. Planning to buy SMC, SCC, or PCOR. Are these stocks winning? The, fundamentally speaking, these are very good stocks, right? Um, Technical wise, SCC and PCOR, they're, they're good, right? SMC, na recommend ko yan. Um, the past few days, I'm just waiting for it to bounce again to confirm the support. Pero the support is holding naman. So I think it's okay to get in. I'm more confident in MPI kaysa kay SMC right now kasi medyo mataas pa rin yung presyo ni SMC. Eh. So if you want to ask me, I will strongly recommend MPI today. Um, SCC and PCOR, let's write this down. Si PCOR din naman, maganda yung technicals niya ngayon. Very good support for PCOR. So you can check that out. SCC, sulat ko si SCC. Tignan natin yan mamaya. Right, Christopher Litiatko. Right, Dong J, good morning, Sir Lloyd. And like, kapasuyo po ng wholesome. PCOR and IRC. Let's check these out. Um, si PCOR, ganun pa rin. I'm still recommending PCOR, especially pag nag-bounce yan. Mayang buntag, Sir Lloyd. PCOR MHC, please. Alright. Mabuhay Holdings. Alright, sulat natin yan. Paul Aika, good morning. Bull and Bear, good morning din. Jolly Caris, good morning, Sir Lloyd and Laika. Nalate ka ngayon, Joel. Laging number one to si Joel sa comments. Eh. Alright. Renette Ado, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Pwede pa ba natin pasukin si Pip? Alright, si Pip. <laughs> Magahabol na naman tayo, right? I recommended Pip. Uh, was that last Monday? I can't remember, but I did recommend Pip on this support right here, dito. Yeah, and that was our entry point. This right here. Hindi na pwede habulin yan. Ang pangit na ng position niya because we are at resistance. May resistance tayo dito, number one. Number two is risk to reward ratio. Ang laki po ng risk natin dito. Saan po support natin? If ever bumagsak man yan, saan ka magka-cut loss? And dito sa M below MA20. So, check out your... Ayan. So, pip. Um, 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 price range. Kung pabaso ka dito ngayon, look at your risk. That's negative 8.93 from support. And I usually cut loss negative 3 to negative 4% below support. So, pag add ka ng 3 niyan, nasa 12% ang risk mo. Napaka-risky ng position niyan. But the volume is very good. <clears throat> I did recommend pip at around this area. Ayan. So, yun yung perfect sana na entry point natin. Dapat pinapasok natin yan before, uh, tawag niyan, before na hindi pa gumagalaw gaano. Right? 
that's the best ent those are the best entry points on the stock right uh, we were seeing a divergence on this area so napakaganda ng movement na yun. so pip wag niyo na pong hahabulin right noon sana nung ni ko right, Joseph Lawrence good morning sir Lloyd from Davao good morning sa mga kapatid natin na sa Davao one of these days or um Siguro mga April or March, eh, punta tayo sa Davao, bisitahin natin sa Davao. Uh, speaking of bisita, mga kapatid natin sa um, UAE, right? unahin po natin sa Dubai, right? Je uh, February, 25, uh, February 15, yung te temporary date. I'm gonna be posting more about it, just finalizing uh, the venues and the dates before I wanna advertise it. February 15 sa Dubai po, February 16 sa... Abu Dhabi. Ayan. And then, Feb 22 sa Qatar naman tayo. Right? So, those are the three uh, countries na um, bibisitain natin. Dalawang, um, three countries na bibisitain natin this February. So, abangan nyo po. Right? Just finalizing everything. So, reserve nyo na po yung dates niyan. Ayan. Right? As much as possible, I keep it, um, yan, I keep it, uh, as cheap as much as possible, as inexpensive as much as, as much as possible. So, hope to see you there. Right? Tuturuan ko po yung kayo mag-trade. At least man lang, makatulong ako sa kanyo this way. Right? Um, Pro Providential, Sales, Costco. Right? Let's write down Costco. Costco. Yan. Good morning, sir. Insights po kay ATN. Si ATN still keep buying on the dips kay ATN. I will recommend ATN sa medyo long term. Ang ganda ng Ang uh, ganda ng ano ni ATN, ang business model ng ATN. So, right now, it's doing a pullback. Let's just wait for the bounce of ATN before we wanna get in. Sinasalo lagi si ATN pag, uh, pag bumabagsak. Look at the volume yesterday. After it dipped to 1.38, ang daming bumibili na naman. So, yeah, the volume is good for ATN. Um, just wait for the green one. You don't have to be aggressive for ATN kasi long-term naman ito. Um, plus, um, long-term naman ang target natin dito, right? So, ATN, wait for the bounce. And Ralph, JVR, morning sir, good. Uh, to TP na ba sa Bell? Alright, let's check out si Bell. Kung pwede na ba nating target profit. Alright, si Bell, uh, I don't think so. Kaka-bounce niya pa lang. I don't wanna take profits at that level. This might be the pullback already. Alright, so let's wait for the second resistance. Yung resistance na talaga which is here dito ka mag take profits if ever uh, mag fail siya mag break out so you, that's when you take profits right so that's for Ralph JVR Eduardo Arco good job sa gains mo kay Bell ha? ganda ng trading you use the support right very good support right here look at this right here support bounce volume backed up by volume that's people accumulating and there win good job Okay, Bell, right? Very, very, very good trading from Ralph JBR. Right. Eduardo Arcoy, good morning, sir. Ha Advance, happy birthday. Picor and Tugo po. Thanks, right? Thank you so much for the greetings. And Mary June, sulat natin si ano. Sorry, sulat natin si Picor and Tugo. And na si Tugo. Right. Um, Tugo. Right. Mary June, good morning, sir. Lloyd, insights po kay RLC. Seb MBT, RLC, Seb MBT at AP. I'll write this down. Hopefully, maabutan natin to. I think maabutan naman natin lahat yan because we don't really have a long topic for today. Kahapon, napa, napa, ano, uh, napa, napaganda yung usapan natin. So, doon na yan. Um, naubos na yung pinag-usapan natin kahapon. Right? Hindi tayo nakapag-charting kahapon. And Joel Igares, good morning, Sir Lloyd and Laika. Good morning, Joel. Um, Beng Concepcion, good, good day, Sir Lloyd. May, may I ask, po AC and P core at right, si AC taas na ni AC eh all right um P core and remember i did recommend AC the past few days this were the, this was the best entry right now ang hirap ng pasukin ni AC all right um it's forming a flag pattern um but uh i really recommend na mag pull back muna ulit all right this was the pullback back nangyari 957 uh, dito na yung eto yung pinaka pull back niya eh. the, the the market went bullish yesterday so yesterday was the best entry point right now i don't recommend getting in we have resistances waiting and dito um may nag-aabang sa atin ng mga resistance so baka mag take profit sa mga tao after the very strong move of the market yesterday right ang dami nakapasok dito sa baba so konting ingat right so yan ac anyways um tingnan natin yung mamaya tyron javier sti sti vita 
Pasuyo din, thanks. Let's check these out. Uh, Joey Legares. Oh, and daming comment ni Joey Legares. Uh, ben Concepcion, good day, Sir Lloyd. May I ask po, AC, and nabas nabasa ko na pala. Katrina Urbano, somehow your message got retracted. I'm really sorry. Let's see, bakit? Um, not sorry. I'm not sure bakit na retract ang message mo, but you can post again, please. Um, sir, sana walk through po kay E. Toro. Salamat po. Michael E. Caldre, yeah, you, I believe you uh, you asked me for this yesterday. So it's wait 8.40, so maybe we, I can walk you through E. Toro for a bit. Um, it's, it's just, this is just gonna be taking siguro 5 minutes, right? I wanna share to you E. Toro then, right? one of our sponsors. Very good uh, platform. Yeah, and this is what you see on your dashboard once you enter eToro. Yung watch list nyo is right here. Yeah, dito sa left side, these are the um, functions tab. So dito nyo po makikita ang uh, watch list nyo. Your portfolio, if you wanna click on it, right? So portfolio, pwede yung real portfolio, this button right here. Re real portfolio, this is the virtual portfolio. You can go to your virtual portfolio. Yung virtual portfolio ko, negative eh. Kasi tinesting ko rin yung copy trading ko noon. But on my real portfolio naman, I am earning already. Right? So, yan. Ito yung newsfeed. This is the social media part of eToro, which is very nice. And dito mga magaling na mga traders. For example, um, ito siya. Ino, si Inokisan, makikita nyo po yung mga posts dyan. You can click on this top side right here and then search for a stock like, for example, FB. This is Facebook. Click on it and go to the, uh, sorry, go to the newsfeed ni SFB, right, sorry, um, FB, right here. Yan, ito yung feed. Go to this feed area, lahat ng mga tao na, 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 uh, that are talking about Facebook, makikita nyo po dito. May mga recommendations ng mga tao dito, so this can guide you on your trading as well. Right? So, yun yung kaganda ni newsfeed. This is one good thing about eToro. It's a social media platform then. So, you can look, uh, follow people if you want to. Right? So, the discover part naman, trade markets. Right? Trade markets, dito nyo po makita lahat ng mga markets. You can go to crypto, ETFs, right? Stocks, indices, ito yung gold, um, sorry, um, indices, ah, indices, no, commodities pala yun. Indices, mga indexes, so, Australia, China, 50DJ, 30, right, uh, PSEI, wala dyan, US dollar, right, so, those are the indices na pwede nyo ma-trade, ma right, commodities, uh, ito yung gold, oil, silver, copper, natural gas, at platinum, pwede nyo po yung i-trade yan, if you want to, right, so, let's go back to trade markets. Then, currencies. Pwede nyo pong, pwede kayo mag-forex dito actually. Right? So, you can trade forex if you want to using eToro. So, that's the beauty about eToro. Lahat, halos ng mga magandang markets, pwede nyo pong e-trade sa stocks. Napakarami po dito. NYSE, technology stocks. Uh, sila Verizon. Pwede nyo pong pasukan dyan. Consumer goods, um, BLL, WG, uh, services, financial, Argo, um, yan, pwede nyo po mga healthcare, mga basic materials na mga companies, pwede nyo po i-trade dyan. Now, next one is the feature, big, biggest feature of, uh, biggest feature of eToro, which is copy people. This is where investors live in eToro. For example, this guy has been trading 33%, plus 33% yung gains niya in the last 12 months. So, kung, fi um, if you just copied him, him, you would have been already earning also what he's earning the past 12 months. Um, previous performance doesn't really assure the future performance, but this guy is good. Like 33% in 12 months, it's good. And the risk score is good. The, the lower, the better, meaning hindi siya risk in a player, uh, which is good sa mga hindi naman aggressive na mga, uh, aggressive na mga traders. So if you click on this guy right here, makikita niyo po yung stats niya. Right? Go to his stats for January plus 1.63% na siya. Dito sa 2018, look at 2018, all the months, he is positive, right? Right there, positive, 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 positive. So this guy's quite, uh, per, uh, uh, what do you call this, um, consistent. So I will recommend this guy. Pwede nyo pong tingnan yan. Makikita nyo po ang portfolio niya. Uh, hindi lang yung amount, pero percent, um, ito yung portfolio niya ngayon. Makikita nyo ano yung mga pinapasukan niya ng mga companies. Apple, right? Pumasok siya kay Apple. He's buying, right? So this is long position. Um, he's already gaining 
32. Remember the past few days na recommend ko si Apple pasukin niyo, umaangat na po si Apple. Right? So, yon. Um then after that, if gusto niyo siya, just click on copy. Right? And then what how much amount ang gusto mo i-copy sa kanya? Magkano ang gusto mo ilagay? Minimum is 200 US dollars. Right? Um But uh, I uh, strongly recommend around $1,000 is good. At least man, mabilis ang guma gumala ang pera nyo. The, the bigger, the better. And then, meron ditong stop loss for copying. If cop uh, Stop copying if value drops below $150. So, for example, dito, $250 ilalagay ko. Tapos, he's losing at natira na lang sa pera ko is $150 na lang. Automatically, makakat loss yan para makalabas ka sa copying niya. Right? So, pwede nyo i-copy open trades yung current trades niya if gusto nyo. I strongly recommend don't para at least yung future trades niya lang ang makukopy nyo. Kasi the moment you copy, baka mataas na yung mga positions niya at bumagsak yun, um, baka mag-negative ang port mo. Right? So, just copy. Uh, do not copy open trades. And then, click on copy and then you automatically copy him already. Right? Um, ito naman copy portfolios. This is, ito yung mga... Kung gusto nyo si Warren Buffett, pwede nyo pong, pwede kayong mag uh, go sa funds ni Warren Buffett. So, lahat ng mga pinasukan ni Warren Buffett, pwede nyo pasukan rin. This is funds, right? Maraming, maraming funds, right? Uh, it's a group, para siyang mga group of companies na naka-diversify yung ano mo, naka-diversify yung port mo, right? So, here, this is very helpful. Just click on help. Itong help, uh, invite friends or guide. Sa help naman, makikita nyo market hours and fees. Um, paano dito mag, how to deposit and withdraw. This is very useful for you. Um, sa mga nagsisim nagsisim magsisimula pa lang. And then there's a guide here dito sa baba. And then there's the withdraw funds. If you want to withdraw funds, right, withdrawable balance, meron ka available na 1.164. Um, uh, and pwede nyo show breakdown. And then just submit and ma-withdraw yan sa nakaset mo na ano, so nakaset mo na paying option, right? So, this is basically what how eToro works, right? If you wanna create an eToro account, test it out. Libre lang naman. Kaganda nito is, it's free to create an account. Use the link on the video description. That will help me in return um, para sa paggawa ninyo ng account. So, if you, you create an account using that one, asan ba yun? Create an eToro, yan. So, you can go to virtual. Meron kayong 100,000 na 100,000 na available na portfolio sa portfolio nyo, $71. Um, ang total ko, 91 na lang natira sa 100,000 ko kasi kinopya ko sa mga taong ito. They're very negative right now. So, <laughs> yan ang problema. Uh, so, anyways, that's virtual portfolio. That's why I trust my own trading talaga. So, you can you, you can copy my trades if you want to. But creating an account is free para mapagpraktisan nyo po. Create an account. It's for free. Right? Um, and then, if once once you think you're ready, you can copy people or you can trade on your own. So, I'm gonna go to my real portfolio. This is my portfolio right now. I'm positive 31 now with Google. Right? Um, I did recommend to you guys uh, the few days ago, ang ganda na pasukin ng mga tech stocks kasi may magandang news na sa Fed and there, I'm earning already. Um, I can go, you can go to my profile and this is my stats for this month, positive 1.11% ako. Uh, December, um, positive 4. I did have negative months, negative 6 on October. Ito yung pagbagsak uh, dahil hinila ni Bitcoin yung, <laughs> yung pera ko. Right. Anyways, um, nakalabas ako naman. Eh. So, it's not really that much of a loss. It's negative 6 which is within my, what they call this, my uh, risk ratio. But this is eToro. Napakaganda. These are my feeds. Ito yung mga posts ko. Right, my portfolio. You can watch my portfolio if you want to. It's everything is public. If you, uh, if gusto niyo po ako ikapi trade. Um, so very good. Ah, uh, very good platform, right? And merami na tatakot kay Itoro before, kasi may nakita sila na feed na nahirapan sila magwithdraw. That's true. Last year, last year nahirap. No, not last year. 2017 nahirapan si Itoro with the withdrawals. It's not na walas lang pera. But it was because they weren't expecting the crypto boom, right? They didn't have enough manpower. Uh, when nag-boom ang crypto, ang daming nag-create ng account. Nung gumikita na sila, ang daming nag-process ng withdrawals na hindi nila na, <laughs> hindi nila na kaya yung traffic. So, they are well-staffed now. 
So, naka-withdraw naman yung mga, yung mga tao kasi masasara ang mga ito kung hindi nila ma-withdraw. It's not that walang pera. It was just that there was that huge traffic na they weren't expecting. So, that's for Itoro. Thank you so much, Mich- Michael, um, sa uh, for your request na mag-walk through. Guys, napakaganda po na international market. Hindi lang po sa Pilipinas may opportunity. Kahit kay oil, kay gold, na may opportunity dyan. If you know how to trade, this is a good platform for you guys. Sa mga gustong maging traders dyan, this is, and tulad ko, tulad nung ginagawa ko kay Itoro, right? you, I am letting people copy my trades. right? People are already copying my trades. right? Ito yung mga um, nag, nagka, uh, nagka-copy trades sa akin. right? And you can see, people, some people are earning already. Right? Pwede itong, um, and then if ever you are already, uh, what you call this, you're already qualified, you get percentage sa earnings. So you become of what you call this, you become a, what you call this, um, finance, what you call this, uh, fund manager, right? Dito sa Pilipinas, ang hirap kaya maging broker, maging fund manager, di ba? This is your chance to become a fund manager. Wag po port ninyo lang ang ite-trade ninyo. Hindi kayo mabagal kayo yaman diyan. Why not trade the ports of other people? And this is a very uh, uh, very easy way to do that. Kung magaling na kayong trader, put your profile on Itoro, put it public, people will see you, people will start copy trading you and then you get to earn. So for example, ang nagko-copya sa iyo 1000 people already. So you you multiply your earnings to 1,000 people. And then also, you're trading your port at the same time. Kumikita ka sa port mo, kumikita ka pa sa mga nakikisibay sa'yo. So that's the beauty of copy trading. If magaling na kayong traders, consider this, right? It's not just for investors, but really for those who are good at trading already. So pag nag-enroll kayo sa uh, seminar ko at magaling na kayong trader after a year, consider this, pwede kayo mag- uh, mag-manage ng funds na ibang tao. This is the beauty of eToro, Right? Dennis Lorania, good morning, sir. And so, um, STV Trader may ask, may balik tayo sa comments natin. So, I hope I was able to uh, show to you how eToro works. Very easy, guys. Right? Um, if you, uh, konti lang. All right, I, I forgot one part. Paano mag buy and sell, eh, di ba? So, here, um, for example, si Apple, gusto mong pasukin. Just click on chart. Kung gusto makita ang chart niya, go full screen if you want to. Um, and then if you want to trade uh, the ano, the stock, just go to trade. Ito yon. This is the buy part. So make sure you pl- press on buy. Short uh, sell. Baka ma short sell mo ito. Right. So buy. Um, set at uh, set rate at market um, amount. Magkano ang gusto mong bilhin? Kaso nga lang well, closed pa ang market ngayon. Eh. You can see their market closed. So amount is $200. You can use leverage. So, leverage is mangungutang ka sa broker kung may pera ka. I usually recommend just times one leverage. So, how much do you want to invest in Apple? You can use $200. I usually put in more than 500 per trade. And then, you edit your stop loss. Click on stop loss. Um, magkano amount gusto mo stop loss? If you're only willing to, um, to lose $10, so, lagay mo dyan, 10 Right, so when you are starting to go negative and you are already losing ten dollars, automatically malalabas ka po sa trade, right? And then also take profits. You can set take profits. Pag naggain ka na ng one hundred dollars, pwede mo i-edit po yan. Pag nagamit ka na, um, pag nakaearn ka ng one hundred dollars, automatically magte take profits si Apple. So you can still position trade dito. Mas maganda. Kasi hindi mo kailangan bantayan. Kasi automatically siya kung nagkamali ka lalabas naman kagat yung trade mo. So, this is very good. Right? So, and then short sell. If you want to short sell it, just click on sell right away. And then, magkano mo isyo short sell. And then, set order. Kaya may take profits yan kasi in, in short selling, you gain pa rin eh. Diba? So, that's how easy it is to buy and sell in eToro. Right? So, I'm gonna change the topic for, uh, the, the, the topic for today sa, <laughs> ano, um, walkthrough ng eToro platform. But, this is very good, right? Um, 
very helpful for international markets. If nahirapan kay sa Philippine markets, then try international market. Sir Lloyd, good AM, pwede bang mag-day trade sa eToro? Yes, definitely pwede. Nag-scalping na ako dyan dati kay eToro. Uh, may question pa dito. Uh, I'll start, uh, stop with Dennis Lorena muna. Alright. Um, anong oras po trading sa eToro? Depende eh. Um, Depende sa market. Um, international markets, US stocks, US time ang fina-follow dyan. Meron tayong stocks na available from Hong Kong. So, Hong Kong time ang ipa-follow mo dyan. Depende sa ano ang bibilihin mo. For example, Bitcoin. Bitcoins, um, uh, yung mga Bitcoin, look at the watch list. Yung Bitcoin, nagte-trading pa rin ngayon kasi 24-7 ang trading ni Bitcoin. Pwede nyo pong i-trade yan. Pwede kayong magpunta sa Forex. Forex is trading 24, uh, 24 So, every weekdays, 24 hours yan. So, pwede kayong pumasok dyan. Depende. You can check out the um, you can check out the market time here. Market hours and fees. Makikita nyo po dito. Right? Market hours and fees for let's say um, cryptocurrency. Makikita nyo po yung market hours niya here. Right, 24-7 ang market hours. Kung gusto nyo po ang um, currencies, no, no, commodities, let's try commodities. So, market hours, Monday to Saturday, 7 a.m. to 5.30 a.m. Right, so, may break dyan. Ang spreads niya is 15 pips. Right, overnight fees. Right, um, ito yung may overnight fees ang ano eh, may over, overnight fees ang mga commodities. But that's very small, right? Um, for example, I don't like pl trading platinum si gold. Ang overnight fees ni gold is 0 0.03. Right? Kung lumagpas ka na isang araw, mayroon kang charge na um, kung buying naman ang position mo is 0 0.1 lang. And then you're earning $1 a day, $1 or $2. If you earn $100. Even if you hold it for 10 days, $1 lang ang charge sa'yo. So that's not really that much. But yeah, this is... Malaki pa rin ang earnings nyo overall. So this, these are... Uh, things na hindi, uh, maliit lang naman ang concern nyo dito. Magiging malaki lang yan pag hinuhold mo yun ng 2 to 3 years, right? But for short-term trading, doesn't really matter that much. Mas malaki pa rin yung kikitain mo. Um, so, yun. Um, yun yung question, sir. What is the leverage? Is it okay if you don't use it? I don't recommend using leverage unless na malaki ang pera ninyo and you are you're very good at your trading. Leverage is, for example, $200 lang ang gusto mong um, gusto mong gamitin pera pero gusto mo mas malaking earnings mangungutang ka for example leverage is times 5 uh, for example open tayo dito trade markets uh, let's try amazon right and trade yan kung $200 leverage times 5 meaning uutang ako ng times 5 um of my money for example eto kung times 5 niyan is $1000 so umuutang ako ng $800 sa broker at least para akong naglagay ng $1000 kay Amazon kay 200 lang ilalagay ko that's leverage pero lalaki ang pera diyan so meaning lalaki rin ang talo ninyo kung matalo man kayo so i don't want to be recommending that nagleverage ako noon for for scalping maganda ang leveraging for scalping what if you're already good at it paano po papasok sa ng pera sa eToro Sir Lloyd maraming ways to put in money let's just go to help how to deposit just go here and then makikita niyo po dito how to deposit All right log in your account here PayPal um is depositing safe and secure yes it is um payment methods and limitations anong pwedeng payment methods um for um for and um, yeah. How do I deposit by credit card or debit card? I think ginagamit ko card number, expiration date. Pwedeng debit card or credit card, right? How do you deposit using e-wallet? Pwedeng PayPal, Skrill, Netel, or Web Money. Pwedeng wire transfer. Pwedeng Giro Play, right? So yun yung pwede nating gamitin for for depositing funds in eToro. Um. Ao, sana yung 2-trade parang itoro na din. Ganda ng feature na insta-sell, win or lose. Yan nga, Bert Lobre, Lobertas, um, sadly sa PSE, walang ganyan. Right? Walang, hindi pwede sa Philippine Stock Exchange ang automatic stop loss or automatic take profits. Ganda sana if pwede, di ba? Pero wala po yan kasi napakanipis po ng market natin. The volume is not that much. What if parehas tayo lahat ng cut loss? pag automatic ng execute yan magma market crash sa sobrang nipis ng market natin right lifetime po ba ginagawa na FA ko sabi niya pwede naman daw baguhin ang policy uh, pwede naman bagu ayan um Amy Lou Bahoy is uh, may question naman siya sa uh, what they call this sa policy niya 
pwede naman baguhin if you want to, right? There are parameters nga lang if babaguhin mo, kung lalakihan mo, baka mag-medical ka na, right? So, that's to answer Emilus ba- Emilu Bahoy's question about, that's for insurance, guys, if ever. Right, Sir Lloyd, like a good morning, Nickel. Good morning, sir. Uh, hindi ako, uh, ask ko lang po sana about Prolife UK. Meron na po akong VUL. Sabi, pwede daw po ibahin yung amount na binayad ko and pwede din po gawing 15 years to pay lang. Pwede naman yung ganyan. Um, just send me a message. Pwede tayo mag-talk, uh, mag-usap about yan in the future. Anong oras po trading sa eToro? We answer that. Anong oras ng trading? Good morning, Sir Lord. I-copy trade ko kayo sa eToro. Yes, you can copy trade me. Not just me. So many other good traders out there. Uh, yeah, pwede nyo po ako i-copy trade. Alright. Medyo non-aggressive trader ako sa eToro. But nonetheless, I'm earning. Alright. Um, pero meron pong iba dyan na mas magaling pa sa akin kasi my, my specialty talaga is into PSE. Eh. So, PSE talaga ako mag, mas nag-aggressive nag-trade. Um, pumuposisyon lang ako sa ituro. But somehow, I'm earning extra. Why not, ba So, you can copy trade me if you want to. Newbie po, newbie po ako. I want to be a trader then My requirements po ba equipments na gamit or pwedeng cellphone lang? I don't recommend trading using your cell phone, Right? <laughs> Ang hirap po niyan. I tell you, wag po cellphone. Fun manager. Thank you, Bull and Bear. Sir, may walkthrough kayo ng Phil Stocks platform. Sadly, wala akong Phil Stocks eh. Uh, hopefully, um, in the future, meron ako. I'm um, gonna talk to someone siguro. Maybe he's okay to share his port sa Phil Stocks para magamit natin, makagawa tayo ng walkthrough. These are very good, uh, these are very good talks pa rin eh, yung mga walkthrough, di ba? Um, good morning, Sir Lloyd. May app or way to track if I'm trading, uh, if my trading skills are improving, similar to monthly graph in Itoro that you show uh, you showed on once it's performing, wala eh, wala sa PSE eh. You ha- um, merong ano, si Investagrams. Meron si Investagrams na, ano yun eh, hindi ko alam paano yun, um, learn how to start, blah, blah, blah. Hindi ko alam saan yun eh, meron sila eh. My portfolio, competition, fundamental analysis, home, let's check this out. Basta meron si Investagrams, alam ko may trading journal si Investagrams. You can use Investagrams. Alright, anyways, Kasel, sir, charting na po tayo. <laughs> Magaya ng kahapon. Tama, tama. Alright, let's go to our charting now. Unahin ko po yung recommendations ko. It's 902. So, let me just go full screen. Alright, so PSEI, that's the chart of PSEI. Let me load my settings. There we go. Yan. So, recommendations ko po tayo. Number one. Number one ko po. Um, si MPI. Please, ilang, tulad ni VLL, I'll start telling you ilang araw ko na recommend yan si MPI. Dito, na-recommend ko si MPI. We're waiting for it to do a pullback. And ayan na, nag-bounce na si MPI. Pasukin nyo na po yan. Baka matulad ni VLL, ilang araw ko po sinabi sa inyo na pasukin si VLL. And there it is, lumipad na. Baka maiwan kayo. Right, that is trading. Hindi porket na sa baba yan, hindi pa gumagalaw, hindi nyo papasukin. Ganun dapat ang ginagawa ninyo. Habang nasa baba pa, pinapasok nyo na yan para kung gumalaw yan na yan pataas, hindi na kayo maghahabol at mahihirapan. MPI po. Huwag nyo po sasayayin yung opportunity while it's still very cheap. Look at the chart of MPI. That's a very sol- solid support area. So, Medyo malayo na tayo sa support area, sa main support area niya, but at, at the very least, we're still okay. Uh, invest a journal po ata yan. Yes, totoo yan. Um, <laughs> sa abi ni Ayan, good morning Sir Lloyd. Ang gwapo niyo po today. Wala pa akong ligo. <laughs> Hindi pa ako naliligo. Nangilamos lang ako. Uh, Sir Lloyd, morning. Yung sinabi niyo po na invest a watcher, very useful po siya sa mga busy na tao. Yes, it is. Yun nga lang may bayad. But please, yeah, so you can support them kahit may bayad. Right. It is free kasi yung major major service nila and it's not cheap. It's not cheap to give out these services. So, kung meron man dyan na mga tao nang nagbibigay ng free service, supportaan nyo po. Tulad ko, pwede kayo mag uh, pwede kayo mag super chat if you want to. It will be greatly appreciated. Malaking tulong po yan sa akin. Because everything I'm doing every day is for free. Yan. J. Chris, good, way, good day Sir Lloyd. Meron po tayong group para sa mga nag-seminar last December sa Manila. Send me a message. Meron tayo <laughs> Timekeeper si Kasal. Anyways, let's continue. Next pick ko ngayon si SSI. SSI. Um, may listahan po ba kayo ng buong recommendation niyo every day? Yes, I post it every day in the Billionaires Club and it's on my website also. Just go to my website here. Copy link address. I'm gonna be chatting. This is my website. Siguro, I'm just gonna 
um, just maybe I'm just gonna close out the website at uh, ilagay ko na lang ulit sa Facebook siguro no right ang kagandahan kasi sa website is meron naka advertisement eh so but anyways sige 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 I'm considering that siguro hindi ko hindi ko na kailangan ng gumawa ng website diretso ko na lang sa Facebook pero <laughs> yun ay um, that's what one of the reason why I'm not asking for donations that much is because sa advertising right sa website kasi kailan nalagay ko dyan because of the advertising but I can I can always put it on Facebook para mas convenient yun nga lang wala akong makikita um, yeah siguro yeah I'll just sacrifice it pero kung gusto nyo mag donate sa channel lang instead you can always do super chat pwede naman ganun Um, it's a win-win for me and you guys kasi eh. That's why I posted it in my oh, I posted it in my website. But yeah, you can do that. Morning Sir Lloyd watching from Oman. Yes, sobrang sulit po ng 300 pesos so per month. Text alert, email, and messenger pa. Yes, very useful. SSI guys, higher low after a Bollinger Band trigger. Technical analysis, one of my favorite technical analysis. That is an uptrend. How do you know if it's an uptrend? Higher highs. We are, this is our swing. Right, those are our swings. I'm gonna change the color. Paano ba palitan ng kulay to? Right, palitan ko ng kulay to blue, dark blue. Right, so this is our madilim din eh. This is our di rin. Let me try red. Ayan, si red na lang. Uh, kapalan ko lang. This is our trend. ba? Diba? ito yung galaw ng stocks natin. So, this is the previous high. This is the second high. That's a higher high. We have a higher low. So, that's for the momentum of... Uh, that's for the swing of SSI. So, uptrend na siya. We're seeing higher high and higher lows. MA20 bounce. That's my favorite technical analysis. Alam nyo po yan. Lagi ko po nire-reiterate yan. That's an uptrend. That's our entry point. SSI. I'm recommending SSI ngayon. Kakasimula lang ng uptrend niya. Pasukin nyo na po si SSI. Habang mura pa. Next for um, SSI is ISM, right? I'm recommending ISM. So we are seeing this accumulation. Ang ganda na accumulation ng mga tao. Price action wise, pataas ng pataas si ISM. Meaning bullish ang mga tao. Kaso nga lang may iniintay. Yung January 31, pasokin nyo na po yan before mag January 31. Let's see what will happen on January 31. Pero at least nakapasok na kayo before January 31. After January 31, if it goes up, then good, nakapasok na kayo, hindi na kayo makipaghabulan. What if it goes down, then just cut your losses. That's my trading. The what ifs. Every what ifs ng isang stock, as long as I like it and pasukin ko, I'm gonna position myself on a good position. Na what if umakyat, nakapasok na ako. What if bumaba, I can always cut my losses. So, abangan ko lang yan. So, that's really not a problem. Guys, ISM. It's giving us a higher low again. So, that's an uptrend, right? That's your entry point. Next is CLC. Recommendations ko. CLC, I've, uh, I've already explained to you guys uh, uh, the, the what you call this, the business plan of CLC in purchasing Togo. Ang ganda na po na negosyo ni CLC. Right? So, here we are. I recommended CLC and this support right here after this confirmation bounce. It did trigger the upper Bollinger Band. And where do we wait for it? Antayin nyo po yung pullback. There's the pullback. That's the higher low. Right? That's the higher low we're waiting for. Buy na po tayo. That's the recent support. Pasukin nyo po yan. Right. Next is Shell PH. Shell PH. I'm recommending Shell PH today. Right? So, after the Bollinger Band trigger, nag pullback lang. And then, there's the bounce right there. So, still okay for me overall. Shell PH is still very cheap. Right? Nagsisimula na pong umakyat yan. So, Shell PH. I will recommend Shell PH today, right? Uh, meron na po tayong magandang price action. So, very low risk as of the moment. Pwede na po yan sa Shell PH for me. Right? Next is CHIB. I recommended CHIB a while back. And, ayun, um, dito sa baba, and then nag-breakout sa CHIB. I'm recommending it again. Use a breakout strategy for CHIB. That has already held my confirmation tayo. Bollinger Band Trigger, you can use you can use, ano, uh, Momentum trade or you can use a breakout strategy for CHIB. Maganda na po yung price action ng CHIB. Nag-trigger na sa upper Bollinger Bands. Next is Metro Bank. Metro Bank, after the pullback right here, we have a good uh, we have a good uh, bounce at MA20. Right. Pwede nyo po i-test out si Metro Bank if gusto nyo pumasok. Overall, malayo-layo pa ang pwede akyatin ni Metro Bank. If mag-bullish talaga ang market natin, this is a good entry point right there. Right. So, kaka-bounce lang ni Metro Bank. 
WPI naman, I'm recommending it on a breakout. Antayin nyo lang po yung breakout. Gumagawa po siya ng flag pattern si MPI. No, no, WPI. Uh, let me use the brush na lang. So, we have a flag pattern right here. Right? So, pag nag-breakout yan sa resistance niya, pasukin nyo po si WPI. It's been very bullish lately after being very cheap. Right? So, maganda pa rin ang presyo naman ni WPI. So, yan. May flag pattern tayo dyan. Just wait for it to do a breakout. Right? So, I'll go to your request now. Before we do that, I want to thank our sponsors, 2Trade Asia. Check out 2Trade Asia, 2TradeAsia.com. If wala pa kayong broker sa PSE, you're looking for a better broker, check out 2Trade Asia. Mabilis po. And then, ang kagandahan nito is meron po silang mobile, plat mobile platform that will help you in your trading if you're outside your house. And so, check out 2TradeAsia at 2TradeAsia.com. Let's go to to go Ayan, may request kanina about to go Tingnan natin chart ni to go Nagpo-pullback na naman. Sorry. Nagpo-pullback na naman. So, let's just wait for to go to bounce again. But MA20, look at that uptrend. Just sakyan na lang po yung uptrend na yan. Right? And then, just cut loss below MA20 if you need to. Hindi ko naman sinasabi na lilipad yan or hindi. It's just that. It's at a good position. Ang ganda ng development ng to go ngayon. Especially na binili na sila ni CLC. At ang ganda po ng plano. I explained the plan um, of CLC kay Tugo a few days back. So, yun. Um, pwede nyo po i-check si Tugo. Next is SCC. Uh, SCC, ayan. Uy, kakabounce lang. Nag-pull back si SMC and it's we're, we're forming a good support right here. Backed up with good volume. Yeah, I think SCC is good to buy. Right? Pwede nyo pong bilhin yan. We have a slow uptrend for SCC. Sayang naman yung uptrend line na yan. So, get in near that uptrend line as much as you can for SEC. Maganda na yan. We're seeing higher highs and somehow higher low. Right? So, starting an uptrend na si SEC. Pwede nyo pasukin yan si SEC. Good pick sa nagtanong about SEC. Next is PCOR. Ayan, si PCOR na naman. I told you the support is holding. So, hindi na po bumababa ang presyo. Volume is already there. So, people are starting to accumulate already. Hindi lang sila bumibili ng mahal. Pero may bumibili dyan at wala nang nagbebenta ng mas mura. Right? Marami nang bumibili, wala nang bumibenta ng mas mura. So that is good. Right? Pag nag-green yan, pasukin nyo po si Picor. I've been recommending Picor for how many days now. So yan, sana pasukin nyo po yan. Just cut loss. Pwede na kayo mag-test buy nyan. Just cut loss below, uh, what do you call this? Um, just cut loss below the support. Right? Good morning. This is from... Um, Asa na yun? Uh, yan. Sir Lloyd, can you give us an idea on how many simultaneous trades you're holding at the present? Um, simu simultaneous trades ang hold ko on the present. Let me open my, siguro yung call call na lang. Alright, my call financial, let me open that. Ha! Hindi ko na kamusta si call ko kahapon kasi medyo na busy ako but tingnan natin kung magkano ang port ko. I haven't checked my port yesterday but there it is. Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, uh, 6 ang negative ko Si ATN nag negative But that's okay I'm waiting for for me uh, I'm waiting for another average down for ATN So kahit negative yan Market price 1.41 average, average price That's still okay for me uh, CLI is already on an uptrend So hindi ako nakapag average down Kasi linagay ko kay ISM CPG uh, Starting to go up already So no problems with that Malilit lang naman ang negatives ko dyan Um Overall, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I have 13 right now. Um, si Tugs, kita na tayo. Si PHA, nag-hold pa rin. Negative 16 yan, but don't worry. Negative 2,000 lang ang talo ko dyan. Test buy lang ang ginawa ko kay PHA naman. Eh. Kay Or din, negative 13. Um, Paakit na yun si Or. Negative 4,000 lang ako dyan. Hindi naman malaking linagay ko. Cause those were my test buys lang. MPI, right? negative 8. 0.49 si MPI. Um, hindi ko nakapag-average down kay MPI. But I'm into MPI for long term naman. Eh. GFC is already there. Nag-sell half lang ako. Uh, Nag-sell half na ako kay GFC. So, konti na lang natitira dyan. So, those, these are my... Uh, ito yung mga lina, um, napasukan ko. I still have a little amount left in ABBA. Ang taas na ni ABBA. Ang laki na ng panal. But this is my port. Uh, so, as you can see. Right? So, my... my my main port more or less looks like this one, right? Ito yung kaya kong trade. Eh. If I ever go out at mag out of town, I'm gonna sell my positions, especially my trading positions, right? Anyways, yun.
don't usually show my port but if you request it yes pwede naman um asan ako uh yun um And Sir Lloyd, good day. Tech, cheapest according to Bloomberg. Yes, napakaganda ng tech. I'm still recommending tech as of the moment. Kaka-recommend ko lang kay tech. Nawala yung chart ko ah. Ayan, the chart. Right, so, yun. Um, I'm still recommending tech. Tinanggal ko lang sa recommendation ko sa tech because I've been already recommending it a few ba- days back. Right, naganda ng balance sa tech. So, pwede nyo pa rin pasukin yan. Um, next sa uh, question... Uh, sir, parang negative divergence si MBT. Yes, totoo naman yun. Um, there is a possible divergence kay MBT. Um, pataas yung presyo, but we uh, the RSI is going down. It's just that the market is bullish kasi. Right? Um, market is bullish. So, yeah. Y- pwede nyo, you, you don't, ilast nyo ito sa, rec- uh, sa, sa gusto nyo pasukin. I'm just recommending it because I'm, I'm starting to see a support at this area right here. Uh, we, it is true that there's divergence. Good good find. There's good, negative divergence kay uh, Metro Bank but the market is bullish. So, it is gonna, I think it's gonna go sideways for the meantime. Hindi naman bearish yung market so I don't think it's gonna go down that much. So, I think it's gonna solidify a, a support For the meantime, this is a pullback sa MA20. So, with the bullish market, it's okay to be aggress- aggressive. I can say I can be aggressive in, in BT. Right? But pero if you're not comfortable with this, good good, uh, good point. Huwag niyo pong pasukin yan. Right? If you're not comfortable with this, as much as possible dito sa baba. I did recommend Metro Bank here sa baba. Eh, ba? Diba? So, yeah. Good point. Medyo scary na ang position ni MBT. Marami na mga ibang magandang position dyan. Just go for the other picks if you want to. Right? Um... Ayun. Um, or, Slav Sir Lloyd, nagsushorting ka rin ba? Nagsushort ako sa Itoro, right? Pero intraday lang short ko kasi delikado ang shorting. Taas projected open ni Picor, 7.77. Good job sa mga pumasok na kay Picor a few, ilang araw na, 7.77. So, that's good. Magagap up sa Picor ngayon. Right? So, I hope nakapasok ka kayo noon pa. Right? Kaya hindi ko nirecommend si Picor ngayon. Ilang araw ko nirecommend. Um, next up is um, may tanong about Finn, right? P H E N. Right, nga pala guys. Um, I want to grab this opportunity to advertise yung seminar ko this weekend, Saturday and Sunday. That's after my birthday if you want to join that. Right? I tell you guys, napakaganda po ng seminar. It's really gonna help you in your trading, especially sa mga hindi pa marurunong. Right? send me a message if you want to join that. Uh, that's Saturday and Sunday. And then on Sinulog week, week uh, January 19, right? That's the day before Sinulog. If andito kayo sa Cebu niyan, join my seminar. Meron ako January 19, uh, 1 to 6 p.m. Uh, the venue is to be announced. Right? Join the seminar. Right? If ever, taga Bohol kayo, nasa malapit kayo, nasa Negros, Bohol, uh, wherever. Come here to Cebu, join the seminar, and then kinabukasan, um, Andiyan yung sinulog. At least sulit yung pagpunta nyo dito. Diba? So, send me a message if you wanna join that. Sir, EEI po, Pasuyo. I've been recommending EEI the past few days. Uh, yun, um, bumalik na naman sa support. Just wait for the bounce. Anyways, let's continue. STR. And si STR naman, nag-Bollinger Band trigger na. So, I want it to do a pullback first before you wanna get in. Ang ganda ng support ni si STR dito o. Oh. This is the best entry point. Medyo mataas na yan. Wait for it to do a pullback. Maybe at MA20 bounces and that's your entry point for STR. So, iwasan nyo muna. Huwag nyo po habulin yan. PCOR, can someone um, update sa opening price ng PCOR? Baka umakit pa ulit. May pag-asa pa ba si now or better to just move the money to ISM? Very good question, Gerardo Raimundo. I don't know what your purpose is in now, right? Um, if you're in, in, in kay now for... For long term, very good question. Unahin natin si Gerardo. May pag-asa pa ba si Nao? Actually, si Nao is at a good price right now. <coughs> Excuse me. This is the speculative area of Nao. Let me go to shapes. Asa may shapes? Alright. Ito kasi na area na ito. This is speculative area of Nao. As long as hindi tayo pumasok at this area, we're good. Right now, Nao's price is... It's not natural growth ulit. Right? Nao has been growing. So, this is... For me, this is the right price of now, right? Um, if will if it will grow in the future, I don't think it's gonna grow this fast in the future. Na magna 19 ka agad. So if you're asking me, pag may pag-asa pa ba umabot na 16, 12, 14, 16 si now, not anytime soon, right? So if you ask me, 
if you if if maganda kay now or kay ISM I'd go for ISM mas malaki ang il, itutubo ni ISM bakit it's not just the third telco si ISM you know Udena Udena has so many projects um may pinost ako about the uh, um company profile video ni Udena you can see there how good Udena is so I'd rather go for ISM especially pag magiging Udena na sila kasi si now telco lang ang negosyo niya si Udena pag naging Udena ito nas napakarami very good business diversified into many things so if you want to ask me kung kay now ako ilalagay or kay Udena I'd go for Udena Alright, so next is Picor. Nothing against now, ha? Hindi ko, hindi ko binabash si now. Baka kasi sabihin ng iba, binabash ko na. I'm just stating facts. 7.77 si Picor. Alright, that's good. Gumer Estrera, sir, how much you seminar and where in Cebu? Send me a message so I can send you the details. Um, Ani, Picor, pwede nyo pasukin si Picor. Ani, right? Si Picor, wag nyo pong ahabulin sa 7.77, okay? Uh, make sure you are amateur R. Um, make sure you take put that in mind. Um, I did make a video about amateur har. Wag kayo magkaypaghabulan sa opening. Let it stabilize first before you wanna get in. Uy, si Ani nagsusupport na pala. Good, good find for Ani. Uh, let's see if this stabilizes pa. Uh, this is a good support right here. One, two, three. Ilang beses na nag, nag, nag-hold yung support na yan. Um, Pababa ang presyo, but we have a divergence kay P, uh, Annie. So, this is good. You can test by the support of Annie. I will recommend that. This is a good support for Annie. Yeah, try nyo po si Annie, if ever, gusto nyo. Good, good job sa nakapa, nakahanap kay Annie. Um, Primex, uh, still holding the support. So, um, pondo kayo ng Primex. If you're looking at Primex, this is a very good support for Primex. The support is holding for how many days? Pwede nyo po pasukin yan. I'm not sure if kailan yan lilipad, but Overall, Primex is a good company, right? Ganda ng third quarter earnings, so may hila yan. Look at the second quarter earnings, plus one, three. So that's very good for Primex. So hold nyo po yan. Um, I mean, uh, this is a solid support, so test out that support if you want to. Right, sir? Can you comment about the FOO rumor ni SMU Dena? Mag-FOO si... For sure, mag-FOO yan sila. The thing is, pinangungunahan nila, nanghuhula sila na FOO daw is 3 pesos. What's the basis? Actually, a company can FOO at whatever price they want. Na- naalala nyo po si FB, nag-FOO siya before ng 145. Was that 145? Correct me if I'm wrong. Around 145, eh, bearish yung market. Walang gusto pumasok kay FB. Maliit lang naman yung project nila. So, uh, walang bumili. They were forced to pull it down to 85 pesos, which is, marami sila nabenta at 85. Now, yun din ah. Knowing that Udena has very good projects, especially the third telco, I don't think, <laughs> wakit ko ibibenta ng tatlong piso, di ba? I'm gonna sell it much, uh, uh, at a much better price if I need the money, right? Mar- marami nang sasabi na si Udena, kailangan nila ng pera kasi malaki yung project ni, na third telco. Remember guys, nakalimutan ninyo ang partner nila si Chinatel. What if it's Chinatel ang mag- magbigay ng pera or sila hanap ng investors in the foreign, uh, foreign investors? Di po problema ang pera ni, nila ngayon. Yes, malaking utang. Maka mag-FOO sila. Uh, pambay ng utang. But, syempre, yung utang na yun, pinang-expand naman nila. Right? You're buying the the seeds of Udena. Look at saan nila linalagay ang pera nila. You'll know if that debt is good or bad. So, yun. Um, kung 13.01 po entry sa FDC, mga ano kayang cut loss, uh, mamaya na natin um, check yan. Next natin si Primex. And tapos na si Primex. Uh, we only have two minutes left, so I'm gonna read uh, whatever I can. CHP and si CHP guys, um, nagpupul back pa yan, so stay away lang muna. Let's wait for it to do a bounce on as near MA20 as much as you can for CHP. Especially kay CHP, you don't have to be aggressive kay CHP. Kasi fundamental si CHP, hindi pa naman, um, hindi pa naman nagre-recover. So, uh, mamaya na kayo maging aggressive kay CHP pag naka-recover na yan. X naman, yan si X. Uh... Wala eh. Mahina na yung momentum ni X eh. So, uh, stay away from X lang. Alright. Next is ISM. We talked about ISM already. Uh, Ali. Ayan. Ah, ano po yung uh, FOO? Um, Lawrence Legad. Ayan. Uh, I don't want to talk about FOO right now. It ba- basically, they're offering their stocks na bilhin sa mga tao. Alright. Uh, follow on offering. Uh, you can search uh, on that sa Google. Basically, magbebenta sila ng stocks nila. So, dadami yung stocks uh, sa public. Right. Next is, um, Ali. Yan. Si Ali, 
stay away from it. We are at resistance levels, right? Dito sa baba ang dapat entry niyan. We don't really know if it's gonna break out or not. Pag nag-break out yan, siguro pwede break out. Pwede as much as possible. Right? Guys, trend line. Follow the trend. Basic trading. That's the trend line right there. That's where you enter. If wala naman sa trend line, huwag nyo na pong hahabulin. Right? So, ganyan lang. Antayin nyo po bumalik yan sa trend line niya. Ah, darating din tayo dyan. So, just be uh, just be patient. Bcore naman, showing us good signs naman si Bcore, good price action. Um, I want to I want to see a higher low of Bcore before I want to recommend it, really. So, I don't want to recommend Bcore yet. FLI. Ayan. And last lang muna, guys, ha. Si FLI, kasi ano, kapos tayo sa oras, right? Napadaldal tayo na naman. <laughs> FLI, still at the support. Get in near the support as much as you can. That's a higher low, actually. So, pwede, let's say if that will hold, that will be your entry point for FLI. Ang ganda naman, eh. We have a higher low right here. Maybe it's gonna form a support at this area. So, that this will be your entry point. Overall, napakamura pa ni FLI. That's a very solid bottom for FLI. Alright, so that's it for today. Pasensya na if kapos tayo sa oras lagi. Alright, um, napakaganda napa, na, ng mga pinag-uusapan natin. I love conversations like these. I'll see you again tomorrow. Tomorrow's my birthday. I'll do my best to look for a good topic sa, <laughs> sa daily grind natin. So, I'll see you tomorrow, guys. Today... Market is looking very good. Nag-break out ang market. So, you can take advantage of that. Sa mga blue chips po na nasa mga ba mababang area, yes, take care of them. Right? Pwede nyo pong pasukin yung mga yan. That's it for today. I'll see you again tomorrow. As always, let's get rich together. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Oh.